Everyone's heard of the Bermuda Triangle, infamous for a large slew of unexplained disappearances ranging from small ships to giant aircraft. The area has gained a reputation from its legendary unsolved mysteries. Nicknamed the Devil's Triangle, the amount of total disappearances in this region is both staggering and extremely odd. Perhaps making it the last place on earth you would want to wind up navigating. But there has been talk of another, lesser known area that could perhaps give the Bermuda Triangle a run for its money. The Alaska Triangle. Take all of these strange, seemingly impossible and dramatic disappearances of the Bermuda Triangle and crank the thermostat down to match Alaska's unforgiving temperatures and you've got yourself some ice cold nightmare fuel. What has been dubbed the Alaska Triangle is a very large expanse located in the area between three connecting locations, the cities of Anchorage and Juneau in the south and Barrow in the north. The triangle itself is gigantic, a commonality between the Alaska and Bermuda Triangles. Some may rightfully speculate that with an expanse of unforgiving rugged country that large, it's a no-brainer that there will be quite a few unexplained disappearances. While that's absolutely correct, the sheer amount of these cases remains a shockingly high number, even taking those factors into account. 16,000 16,000 people have disappeared in the Alaska Triangle since 1988. The disappearance rate ends up calculating to more than twice the national average, and an extremely large amount of these cases end up as cold as the frigid Alaskan weather itself people are vanishing into thin air. Disappearances in the triangle are not uncommon, but there are a few specific ones that brought a large amount of attention to the now infamous area. Over 70 years ago in 1950, one of the nation's largest disappearances of military aircraft and personnel occurred in the region. A C-54 Skymaster carrying an eight-man crew and 36 passengers departed from Anchorage on January 26th at 1 p.m. The flight began smoothly and made a routine radio check-in two hours after departure as it flew over a small town in Yukon. It was the last transmission heard from the flight. The airliner and everyone on board were never seen or heard from again. An enormous search effort was spearheaded by the U.S. and Canadian planes aided by thousands of on-foot volunteers but to no avail. The most famous Alaska Triangle disappearance happened 22 years later, in 1972. This particular case began attracting public attention when a small private plane carrying Alaska Congressman Nick Bedgage, U.S. House Majority Leader Hale Boggs, an aide of theirs, Russell Brown, and their Bush pilot, Don Jones, completely vanished without a trace while flying from Anchorage to Juneau. For over a month, 40 military aircraft, 50 civilian planes, and dozens of boats covered a search area of roughly 32,000 square miles, effectively covering every possible area the plane could have disappeared. Not a single shred of evidence was ever discovered. The plane and the four men inside were never seen again. After this incident, more people started paying attention to disappearances coming from within the same area. Hikers went missing, Alaskan residents gone without a trace. There were even cases of more planes going completely off the grid, with no evidence left behind. The area seemed, for lack of a better word, cursed. In any given year, 500 to 2,000 people go missing in Alaska. Even with modern technology and huge search and rescue efforts conducted by authorities, most of these disappearances remain unsolved. Oftentimes, there's no trace or evidence discovered at all. This unusually large amount of disappearances has naturally led to all sorts of speculation and theories. It's easy to write off most of these disappearances as unfortunate incidents tied to the harsh environment. I mean, after all, the Alaska Triangle is home to rugged mountain peaks, hidden caves, massive glaciers, deep crevices, and dense forests. 
It's not exactly the easiest area to navigate. But could that be the only explanation? Several have resorted to alternate theories including everything from swirling energy vortexes to aliens, to evil shape-shifting demons of a tinged Indian lore called Kushtaka. The energy vortex theory in particular is cited as an alternate explanation for both the Alaska and the Bermuda Triangles. These energy vortexes are thought to be swirling centers of energy concentrated in specific places, where Earth's natural energies crackle the most intensely. It's believed these energies radiate in a spiraling cone, either clockwise or counterclockwise, and therefore create either positive or negative effects. Those who believe in them say they have a varied array of effects on people who wander into their ranges. Positive vortexes spiral upward and in a clockwise motion. They are believed to be correlated to meditative, creative, healing, and self-explorative energies. Some individuals actively search out these vortexes to feel inspired or uplifted. Known areas where these positive vortexes are speculated to exist include the Egyptian pyramids, Stonehenge, and sacred temples or cathedrals throughout the world. On the other side of that coin are negative vortexes, said to spiral downward and in a counterclockwise motion. These are known to create a draining energy that can have a slew of negative effects on unfortunate people who enter into its zone of influence. Depression, nightmares, disorientation, confusion, audio or visual hallucinations, and a wide array of health problems are linked to these negative vortexes. Supposedly, they can cause electronic devices or instruments to malfunction. Known areas where these negative vortexes are speculated to exist include Japan's Devil Sea, Easter Island, and you guessed it, the Alaska and Bermuda Triangles. Whether you believe in these vortexes or not, it has been proven that electronic readings in Alaska have been disrupted by large concentrations of magnetic anomalies. In some cases, these magnetic disturbances have disrupted compasses to the point where they are 30 degrees off. This distortion could have certainly caused some unfortunate people to veer off course, perhaps leading to their disappearance. Outside of electronic anomalies, there have been several separate search and rescue workers in the region that have reported audio or visual hallucinations, disorientation or general lightheadedness. The theory of alien interference has not been entirely baseless either. The speculation initially stemmed from a 1986 report from a Japanese cargo flight to the Federal Aviation Administration. Supposedly, Japan Airlines Flight 1628 encountered three unidentified aerial phenomena above the Alaska Triangle. Initially, the pilot assumed these craft were military and nothing out of the ordinary. However, he realized that these objects were keeping pace and moving erratically around his jet. Over the next 50 minutes, these strange aerial craft shadowed a flight 1628's every move, while simultaneously emitting bursts of blinding lights. This report was verified by both civilian and military radar, and the FAA report garnered a large amount of national media attention. The third supernatural theory stems from Tlingit, Shimshian, and native Alaskan lore. They believe in a being called the Kushtaka, a shape-shifting cryptid that stalks Alaska's wilderness searching for human prey. This creature is often compared to the mythology of Bigfoot or Yetis, but the Kushtaka appears to have a much more sinister aura surrounding it. These otter-like creatures will disguise themselves as a trusted friend or relative, and appear before those who are injured or lost. They will then trick their victims and lead them deeper into the wild, before ultimately tearing them apart and turning them into another Kushtaka. This legend is especially popular in southeastern Alaska. So, what's the real cause of the abnormally high amount of disappearances from this region? Is it simply a result of the difficult terrain and harsh weather patterns? Could there be any credence to the extraterrestrial or supernatural theories and speculation? We may never know for sure. 
If you ever plan on exploring the gorgeous and rigid frontier of Alaska, make sure you prepare yourself accordingly. You have to expect the unforgiving weather conditions. You have to expect the rugged and unpredictable landscape. And if these disappearances are anything to go by, you have to expect the unexpected.